Assalamu alaikum guys in this video we'll talk about true direction after deleting an element from pagination let's start here in my post controller I have index and delete method and I am listing per page only three posts and here my blade title and action and also here is our root posts and I'm using temporarily get for deleting a post and after that after deleting a post here I will return back let's back and see here is our last page let's start from the beginning posts next page two next page three i have seven posts here and split it to threes per page right let's start with the last page here if i delete next year if i delete this item or the last item and it's only the only item in this page it will return back with empty page but it is a bad practice so how can we use paginator powerful functions to check like these cases if we go here to our index method and if i die and dump posts as you can see here refresh it returns the length aware paginator class right if you go here it has a bunch of great methods that may make our work easy so i will back here and let's use these functions in my blade i will refresh again now it's empty but i will create another post i will make them seven again refresh and again i have the last page and only one post so the first of all here we will control where to redirect after deleting an element according to the case so for example here i will add another query parameter redirect to right and i will use request method and the query because i will pass the redirect to variable value in the query parameter and i will say again redirect to back to our blade and i will do it using native php it's super easy with laravel we can say php and end php right so our variable here will be redirect to and it will be empty string then if you notice here we have a method inside documentation called has more pages if i in the last page it will return false but if i in the other pages it will return true let me show you so here i will die and dump i will say post this and has more pages method back here refresh again we must add semicolon here because we write php native code and it returns false because this is the last page if i go to page number two it's true page number one it's true but in the last page only it returns false so we can say here if i am in the last page post this has more pages we can say not true right which means i am in the last page and it contains only one element using posts count back again to documentation and we can see here count gets the number of items for the current page so i will say here redirect to everything is dynamic we can say post this previous page link or url from where from this method in the documentation here previous page url now let's die and dump our redirect to variable redirect to and to check so here refresh has more pages and here as you can see it will redirect to the previous page because this element or this page has only one post let's use dump instead of die as you can see here but if i go to page number two it has no, nothing because multiple posts and it's not the last page right so we can use it here inside our controller but i will pass it here in the delete route right this one here which uses delete method and i will say here inside my blade redirect to and use this variable we can use it also from here redirect to 
let us die and dump here this redirect to which comes from our blade now refresh everything works correctly back and try to delete as you can see it's null we must fix it here redirect yeah redirect to actually I must fix it in my blade refresh and as you can see it will redirect me to the previous page because this is the last element in the current page back and test it for other elements refresh I'm now in the second page and in case of null I will say redirect back I will say here this one post this and we can use this method to generate a URL for page number we can say current page here current page number and let's generate a URL from that using URL method so also we can say here post this URL refresh delete and if I die on them here instead of back redirect to refresh it n it's now the last page but I will add two elements to be seven again refresh delete it will back again to ID or to the second page but if I go to next page or last page here it will back to the previous page which is two right if I add more elements here maybe another one and refresh it still returns to the second page why because we must add control here in our blade and we will say if it's the last page and also post count equal only one so refresh back and refresh and it still will back to the third page right so now let's test it remove dd and we will say redirect to and use redirect to here and also to avoid manipulation of user we can set the default value which is root home it will back to home page if user try to manipulate this value so back and test again delete still in the third page delete back to second delete now second page second page second page now I'm in the first page right delete delete and this delete the last element ever and it redirects to home page automatically right let's try to create one element for each page so I will create again seven items or three items actually and instead of peer page three here I will say one refresh and slash post this next next remove works back and to id2 or to second page delete and now I'm the last ever and automatically converted me to home page let's try it with another number for example I will create six elements and peer page it will be two refresh and back to posts again and delete still in page one next delete page two next now is the last page two and automatically will back to one delete delete and it works perfectly here is how to redirect after deleting an element from pagination in easy and professional way if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos